Today we fit the giraffe with a custom molded brace that we had to take molds for a week ago. And after we took the molds last week, we put the giraffe into some off the shelf braces temporarily. That way we can actually fabricate the braces and then bring them in today and fit, them, fit her with a definitive product. It is a custom molded carbon graphite brace and we actually put the giraffe pattern on there too just so it would blend in with other wildlife. Yes, the brace is adjustable. It actually is adjustable in circumference because we put extra padding in it that way we can peel off layers for that but we couldn't make it adjustable for height. Only reason is because it would have weakened the brace quite a bit so we didn't want the brace to break and injure the giraffe. So the second brace was actually a custom molded brace. So when we first saw the giraffe, we actually took cast molds of both legs and we ended up fabricating those and it took about a week to fabricate that. I've never done this for other wildlife. This is the first time in my 30 year career that I've actually done it for any type of wildlife. It's a sense of accomplishment. I think it's like the best thing I've ever done in 30 years. Um, I've never worked with wildlife like this before. So it was one of those things where it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and you just have to savor the moment. This giraffe came in right at the time of birth. So the day that it was born, presented to the hospital. Uh, the biggest concern was the forelimbs were hyperextended at one of the joints. And over the course of 24 hours, the second forelimb started to hyperextend. And it looks like it's their knee, but it's actually their carpus. So uh, right here on us, um, but for the giraffe, everything is displaced a little bit towards the core of the body. Um, so the hyperextension, the joint going the wrong way was the big concern with her. Uh, so initially we stabilized that joint with casts uh, while we had some time to uh, purchase uh, some braces, uh, just off the shelf braces, applied those the next day and realized those weren't quite strong enough and needed to take a step up. The medical concern that we're dealing with with this giraffe is pretty uncommon. Uh, we often see laxity within joints and most of the time it's the joints that are further down, closer to the hooves. Uh, this joint, the carpal joint, or what looks like her knee on her forelimbs, is a little bit unusual to see hyperextension in that area. This is the first carpal joint hyperextension that I've worked on with a giraffe, and to see it in both limbs was pretty concerning. So we casted this giraffe initially uh, because we didn't have braces on hand or any way that we could make sure that that joint prevented further hyperextension. Uh, it did not help with the cast because she's unable to flex that joint. So it's important for a giraffe to be able to build up the muscles and strengthen the tendons and ligaments to go through flexion and extension. When you're casted, you're completely uh, immobile and you're not able to go through range of motion. So it's fine for an immediate fix. It's what we had on hand. We wanted to prevent her from going back even further, but long-term we had to look at another solution and that's where the braces came in. Yeah, this giraffe's been braced for uh, about 10 days now. Um, so the brace that we put on her today is hopefully going to be her brace that uh, will push her through at least another couple weeks to make sure that she's not going to hyperextend on that left forelimb. Our hope is in about seven to ten days that we can take that brace off and determine if her ligaments and tendons have strengthened enough where she no longer needs the brace. But I would, would anticipate at least a couple weeks that she'll be in this current brace. Yeah, success for this case is uh, pretty hard to define and I think is on a spectrum. You know. In some regards, we've already seen some success. Uh, that right forelimb is already in normal position, which is great. We didn't expect that to happen so quickly. Um, so that is a successful outcome for the case. But ultimate success is gonna be complete uh, normal extension and flexion of both those forelimbs, the right and the left. And then ultimately, her ability to go out to a field habitat and be able to behave like a normal giraffe, integrate with the herd, uh, that's the ultimate goal that we're working towards. We have put bra braces on uh, animals at San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance, certainly. Uh, this is probably the most extensive and most customized brace that I've ever applied on an animal. Uh, occasionally we do have uh, joint concerns or ligament tendon laxity, uh, but to have it in a long-legged giraffe like this and so severe is unique, and that's what warranted the customization of the brace. The securement of the brace is essential. Uh, that's probably the biggest challenge for this giraffe. Uh, this is the third brace that we've attempted on the giraffe. Uh, the first brace we just tried off the shelf and that had a lot of rotational instability and then also would slide uh, towards her core and then towards the uh, bottom of her foot. 
So that didn't work very well. The second brace that we tried was much better, and that's when we started working with the hanger group. Uh, so they brought in a non-customized but much more extensive brace that we were able to use on this draft for close to a week now. And that worked a lot better, but there was still some rotational instability and some adjustments that were needed daily. The third brace that we have now that's fully customized specifically for this giraffe is a much better fit. It doesn't rotate at all. It doesn't drift towards her core or down to her hoof. She's really comfortable on it. The articulation is perfect. Um, it's an exact range of motion that we need. So I think this is the brace that's gonna work really well for her moving forward. Most of our patients that we work on at the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance are gonna be anesthetized. Um, these are animals and we have to uh, make sure that everyone is safe working around them. Uh, this giraffe is 70 kilos or close to 150 pounds. So if she wanted to kick or buck, uh, she would definitely be able to cause some injury to humans. So to work on her safely, we make sure that she's anesthetized at a plane of anesthesia where she's not going to move, she's not going to kick. Um, if there's any discomfort when we're going through range of motion, she's not going to be able to feel that. So there are risks to anesthesia, but we're able to mitigate those risks by having endotracheal tubes placed, IV catheters, a dedicated team to, I to anesthesia monitoring. So while there is risk for anesthesia, it's necessary and we're prepared to do that. If the brace fails on this giraffe, we'll have to revisit and see if there's another customization of the brace, uh, if we need to strengthen it in any regard. Uh, if the brace fails overall and um, we cannot prevent that hyperextension of the left forelimb, uh, there is a chance that we'll just give her some time and see as she grows if she'll be able to tighten up her tendons and ligaments on her own. But given the progress she's made over the last couple of weeks, I think we're heading in the right direction and hopefully she doesn't fail. I'd just like to acknowledge the hanger group that we worked with. Uh, these guys are really professional coming out here on such a short notice, uh, customizing that brace for us. Uh, they were well prepared. Uh, great at communicating with us what the expectations were and what success looked like for this case. Um, they are able to think on their feet, so in some regards they're a lot like zoo vets where they need to use some ingenuity and innovation and um, just work with what they have on hand. So it's been a really enjoyable collaboration with them and we think the world of them. the truck. Too steep. She did have some type of app. 